We are also excited about what's going on with um, not just what's happening in the life of this church, but what's happening next Sunday in the life of a new church, Christ Church of the Valley in Vacaville. That church is launching next Sunday. Can you believe it? We are so pumped for that. Praise the Lord. And I just wanted to let you know, I'm gonna, we're going to commission uh, Pastor John Jordan and Pastor John McNeff, but I want to give you an idea in case maybe you weren't here before with um, the previous commissioning about why we do this why we do what we're about to do, which is to lay hands on those men and pray for them and commission them to the work of ministry and send them off. We get this from the scriptures, and one scripture is from Acts 13 that talks about this. Listen as I read. Now there was in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who is called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manan, a lifelong friend of Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were all worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So that idea of laying hands on the men that God has called out to send out is something that doesn't just occur in Acts 13, but actually in several places in the New Testament. So it's a, it's a pattern that when we send men on into gospel ministry, that we would want to have them in the presence of the congregation, be prayed for and commissioned. And so in that regard, in accordance with the scriptures, I want to call up John Jordan and John McNeff. And is the microphone? Yeah, good. And uh, we did this in the first service, and it was such a sweet time. I was um, caught off guard in a good way uh, by the impact that these men have had. And so uh, John and John, thank you for being here. And we wanted to ask both of you, maybe start with John. And I said in the first service, that this is very, sorry, sorry, yeah, 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 first John, second. second John, yep, John the greater, John the lesser, actually, you don't want to do that, we learned that, we learned that in the sermon today, don't, don't do that, yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, John McNeff, I just asked John Jordan if I could say a little something about this moment here, because um, I don't know if it's lost on you, but it's not lost on me, that five years ago, this man commissioned me to the ministry in this church, on this stage right here. And five years later now, look what God's done. And, um, and John is being faithful to, to go and be sent. And so John, as you're processing all of this, can you just share with us what the Lord's impacting you with and, and what you can have us be praying for you about? Yeah, I, I had to stay around here long enough to make sure Kent was okay. So <laughs> yeah. He's okay, right? Kent's doing longer. fine. It's been wonderful <laughs> to send him to Kent's ministry. That's uh, been the singular thrill the last five years for me to be here and, and be under Kent's ministry that way. But it is bittersweet because about 30 years ago, we came here to be pastor of this church. And so um, the ones I can see through the glaring lights, I have memories of so many people here and there are memories eking out of every corner of this building and every ministry that we have. And so that's the, that's the bitter side. Um, my family brent up on the sound room that always makes us look and sound so good and then my other family down here and, and my, all the ones that are here to encourage. Um, last Sunday at a place is melancholy and so that is. But the sweet side of that is to be able to go and to found a new church to be a part of that. Never done that before. And so that's the, that's the thrilling part of that. So we don't know who's gonna show up next week. Uh, John and me will be there, our wives will be there. <laughs> That's good, your wife's And there. we also, we're taking some other people too, I think we should mention also. Um, Kent Dresdo has graciously allowed us to take his son, Tyler, is gonna go and be our worship leader, and so we're very thankful for Tyler coming to be a part of that. John's got a couple other ones he's gonna mention, but we're thankful for that team. You know, when, you, when I've seen church plants through the years, oftentimes church plant basically is taking people from other churches, and they call that growth. Now, I'm thankful for any one of you that want to come up there. It's only 40 minutes, or some of you may want to move there. The real estate market is wonderful in Vacaville, so <laughs> just an open invitation if that's what you feel like doing. Um, but, you know, beyond that, it's not um, just that. It's that uh, God would use the people in the church in Vacaville to get beyond the boundaries of the church and touch people that are, that are lost, people that often at this point don't even know that they're lost but uh, that they would be called to repent, they would be called to believe in the gospel, 
and they would become heirs of the kingdom of God because of the witness of that church. So that's my, that's my biggest prayer and the sweet part about this adventure for me. Yeah. John, would you mind sharing just in your role with all that you've gone, you said you were just in a swirl today, I can only imagine. So can you just share with us how you're doing, what you're up to, and then even just how we can be praying for you specifically as you launch the church? Yeah, thanks, Kent. Uh, first of all, I understand the bittersweet that Pastor McNiff is talking about, and I've only been here a tenth of the time he's been here. <laughs> so, but still, that is hard to leave this church, but exciting to go and start this new one. And I, I would be remiss not to mention there's a couple people, there's a lot of you that might be coming that I'm not going to go through all the names, but Phil and Carrie Kern in particular that have been here longer than John McNiff, actually. Mm -hmm. Phil's going to be an elder at Christ Church. And Lola, if you've seen the man from Nigeria out in there that's always smiling, he's going to be our lead deacon. So those two men in particular are going to come in a leadership role to help us. And there are other ones going, including my wife, and <laughs> including many of you that know some people that might be attending. And so that, that's important to us to at least make mention of those. As far as the ministry there, we can be praying for is we want to see God exalted. We want to see believers edified. And we want to find elect there are elect all around Vacaville, and we don't know who they are. And so we're trying to get them in there so that the Spirit can move in the Word to bring the elect into the fold of the fellowship. So that's what we're praying for. We don't want to just rearrange chairs in the Titanic. We want those believers to come in and sit underneath the Word. And of course, we'd like to edify believers, and of course, we want to exalt God all at the same time. So that would be how you could pray for us. Yeah, guys, we do need to be praying for them. And in fact, we want to do that right now. So um, elders and uh, ministerial staff, if you can come on up. And we are going to pray for John and John. So if you can come on up, everybody. All right, let's pray. Would you pray with me? <clears throat> Lord, we, we commend both of these men to you, and, and specifically I want to pray for their marriages, Lord. Uh, neither of these men are living in newly minted marriages or under the, <laughs> the flush of the first days, but are battle-tested. Um, and I pray, Father, though, that even though that they have lived long and well uh, in their marriages, that you would protect them. Um, specifically as they go out to a new venture, Lord, I, I have no doubt that Satan would love to see that stumble. So I pray that you would protect them from that. Uh, I pray that you would help them to be ever mindful about how they can love their lives, wives well. Um, and I do pray for, for Anne and Denise, Lord, that they would have great patience and be able to offer fantastic support during this time. They would be a, a solid partner in ministry together and that your name would be glorified because of just the beautiful nature of their marriages. Yeah, that's good. And Father, we continue to pray for uh, this new work that you would bless it. You would bless this church, God, that you would give it unity in Christ and fellowship of the Spirit. Father, we ask that they would emulate the things we have talked about here, that they would worship God and walk in love and witness then to their community, uh, their immediate context in Vacaville, mm -hmm. Father, that many would come to know you and to hear you for the first time and have their eyes open to the truth. So we pray, Father, for just the blessing upon uh, this new church. Gracious Father, you would just have a spiritual awakening for those elect in Vacaville. Mm -hmm. There would just be a spiritual progress, a gospel progress in that land, and that that body would walk in love and worship you in humility for your glory and the love of Christ would be shown to all in that, in, in that new church, in that new ministry for your glory. Father, it is bittersweet to be able to be here in this moment and to think about all of the ways that these men have been so faithful to their posts here. Such a blessing. John McNeff for a whole generation shepherding and leading the, the body here. John Jordan more recently coming in and being a blessing to so many of us here as well. And now, Lord, to see them answer the call that you've placed upon their life is just so, um, God, we have just such deep reason to be thankful to you for what you're doing in their life. And so we do want to be faithful, God, to commend them to you and to commission them to the work 
of planting this church at Christ Church of the Valley. God, I pray that you would mightily bless the work and that you would hugely encourage these men in the work. Lord, I pray that you would help them to be uh, like-minded in their pursuit of gospel ministry there, that as they are joining in the yoke together, God, that you would strengthen each of their hands for the ministry to which you've called them, and that you would help <clears throat> their ministry together to be for the further progress of the gospel in Vacaville and beyond. Lord, there's such a huge need there for the word of God to be proclaimed. So God, help John Jordan to preach the word. Help John McNeff to preach the word and to do so in season and out of season, to do so without fear and to do so boldly for the sake of your great name, God, because you are worthy of having your word brought to bear in the lives of your people and in the lives of those who don't know you. So God, strengthen them for the task that they do not have the strength in themselves to complete. And Lord, we thank you for the partnership that will be ongoing between us as churches now that are laboring together for the sake of Christ. Father, glorify your great name at Christ Church. Please help Christ to be proclaimed at Christ Church. Please help all of that to happen by the power of your spirit who indwells your people and causes them to shine as lights in the world. And God, cause their witness for Christ to reach all of those in that city that you have appointed to believe, just like John said. It just reminds me of, of Paul walking into Corinth and you reminded him that you have many people in this city. So God, help them to go and bring them home. We thank you for John and for John. What a precious servants they are. Send them in strength now to serve you well, I pray. All of this in Christ's name and for his sake. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah.